<laughs> Freer and Ben, you recognise these faces? Yeah. yeah. Can anybody spell diesel? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Fertiliser, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, welcome. It's great to see these guys. It's great to see all you. Uh, the first thing I want to do is, can I have my team up here? I'd like them behind me, please, because they're always behind me. <laughs> Come on, guys. And Sucky, where's Sucky? I want Sucky up here. All right. This is the um, East Warwickshire Gospel Choir. Go ahead. I'm just going to put my glasses on. Everybody, everybody's disappeared from the audience. <laughs> right. First of all, yeah, it's a good idea. Get your photographs. This is a team. Breathing or moving? It's sucky a bit. Can we get Sucky here? <laughs> sucky! Come on here! Come on, Sucky! Yeah, we want everybody up here that's uh, done so much for so little, which is pretty true, actually. So, yeah, so welcome again. Uh, if it wasn't for this team, uh, you know, you probably know that I've recently won an award. I don't like to talk. No, no. I don't like to talk about it, but yeah, uh, the uh, tourism superstar award. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I never mention it myself, but it's down to these people, not just me. It's these people. If it wasn't for like, my team, we couldn't have done it. I mean, that's true. We all know that. I'd just be sat here, one man in his shed, basically, with a couple of items in there. Uh, but we won't go into that, will we? Uh, anyway, I'd just like to say uh, a thank you, a few thank yous. Now, upstairs, there's a board that says thank you. So I'm not going to go through loads and loads of names. You can read that board. But it would be remiss of me if I didn't mention a few names, which I'm going to. So speaking of that award that I don't like to mention, I'd like to uh, thank... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that award, yeah, that award, yeah. So we've got Laura, my amazing PA. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's here. Yes, thank you for that. She nominated me, so if it wasn't for her, it wouldn't have happened. So that's really, really brilliant. So, uh, the yeah, the A team. That's what the that's what the third, each each day each, each day have got their own name, and the Thursday is the A team. They can dream, of course. Yeah, yeah. I love them all. They're all great. But anyway, let's let's move on. But yeah, and again, by the way, I will say that award. I don't keep mentioning. Whoever voted, thank you. Bless you. If you if you didn't if you didn't vote for me, and you voted for the alpacas. Then <laughs> we'll be looking for your fingers later. Anyway, so Altan, who, who likes it? Who thought it was great? I mean, be careful, <laughs> careful what you say. I mean, we were part of the the setup. We knew about it before it was even called Altan. You know, it, it, was, it was originally this town. Sorry, sorry. The reason I'm saying our town is for copyright reasons. Our exhibition is called Our Town. So I'm, uh, you have to excuse me, I'm getting a little muddled up with the two. But this town, before it was even called that, you know, I think they called it the two-tone drama. So we were, we were on board a long, long while ago. So I mean, I thought it was wonderful. And I do have a tiny part. When I say tiny, I'm on there for about half a second. We but, did see you but, but I'm in there. Anybody else can say they're in there, apart from these two at the back of this. <laughs> Anyway, upstairs, just to explain, I'm sorry going on, but we've, we've got to do these things. Up to, upstairs, you'll see a TV set. Uh, you'll call it a bar, but it's not a bar, because it's a dry bar. There, there's no alcohol serving there. And it's based on one myself and Mark, our little bit that we did uh, in, the, uh, in the show. We're sat there, and our two seconds of fame there. So we reproduced that bar. 
which was supposed to be in Chelmsley Wood, the Happy Trooper, of course. Um, we will point out if there's any fans that are not from Birmingham and with, who support the Blue Kind. We're happy if you're a Villa fan or you're a Coventry fan or you're a Blues fan. I did this on the radio and I had to go through all of them then, or a Wolves fan, or a Baggies <laughs> fan, or a Warsaw fan, yeah, you know what I mean? You're all welcome, but we had to sack that, and, oh, come on, Alan, what? Which, which team do you support? Me? Yeah, you! You were just about to say something. No, 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 uh, yeah. Anyway, as far as the building's concerned, Mark Harrison, thank you, Ian Graham, Phil Sefton, uh, Laura McDonald, and... Uh, uh, Bob Bordicott, they all built the set, so thank you so much. Round of applause. Uh, the other guy who's the main man in all this, and if it wasn't for him, Mark Armand. Not that, Not that one. one. That's his. We all have to say that every time we say his name. I'm sorry, he's not arrived yet. It will be here later, but if it wasn't for him, he was the conduit that sort of made everything happen. He was aware of this place, and he told the guys, and they all came over the coup, and the cast and everything, they all came to the museum, checked us out, which was absolutely brilliant. So if it wasn't for that guy, I mean, it really, really is amazing. So, so thank you to him. Chris and Nick for the video. Uh, Annabelle Bevan, she did some of the props. Stephen Knight for making this happen. I and mean, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be talking about it now. Uh, Louise, uh, the photographs, there you are. Thank you very much, bless you. Uh, to Ronnie, of course, who's going to open up uh, his own wall upstairs, something very special for him. Uh, I hope he likes it. Alf and Angela, that are always here. They're always rocking and rolling, bless them. They work too hard. Tell them they work too hard. They work too hard. And uh, a special, special thank you to a very special lady, to my Julie. Without Julie. I couldn't do all this, she's my inspiration, so bless you, love you. Uh, and alright, so thanks for all coming along, as you'd probably be quite happy, we've come to the end of the speech, and we're going to make our way upstairs. Now I would suggest we perhaps don't all go up together, because we don't want to end up down here when the floor collapses. No, it's alright, it's all safe. We've done a risk assessment, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, they have. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, is there any questions, by the way? What about your ward? Oh, I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> Steve, I don't, I don't like to mention it. But, well, yeah, actually... Anyway, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. But anyway, before we go there, hang on, hang on, again. We've got our, our very get a special guest, because it's not on here. Come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> It's great, to, honestly, you don't know how, it, how brilliant it is to see you guys come along. It's, it's kind of weird looking at you now, because <laughs> we've, we've all watched you, and uh, do you actually play, play the bass guitar? I do, yeah. I thought you did, it looked yeah, like it. Yeah, we both play it, I'm glad it looked like it. <laughs> well, I think it's absolutely brilliant, uh, the fact that you're in there, and... Uh, it works so well. I mean, we, we there has been one or two, you're always going to get the negatives, I don't oh, want to bring course. that up. Yeah, yeah. But what I like is, the internet is absolutely just full of people talking about the show. Yeah. And that's great. Whether you like it or not, if you don't like it, well, you can go shove yourself. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, take your, we'll take your fingers. <laughs> I mean, we love it. We love it here, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So... Well, absolutely. So, so how was it actually playing those parts, which you played brilliantly, by the way, of course. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's mega. I'm, I'm from, like, I was, I was born in Nottingham, so I'm not quite as local hey, as some of the other ones. Amazing. But yeah, like, Midlands, you know, I come into stuff like this, and the screening we did in Birmingham, like, getting to see, you know, people who we made the show for, actually enjoying it. That's, you know, it's very special. And getting to play stuff in the 80s and you know a young lad who starts a band joins a band it's all you know very close to me I... yeah, yeah sorry, the, the characters are just so good 
Stephen Knight makes, he writes such good characters, don't you think? Oh yeah, does. absolutely. So it's just a joy to play Fiona, and I'm from London, so I'm yeah. Southern, I'm so sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but fell in love with it up here, we had an amazing time up here, and yeah, coming coming here before we even started filming, just like the five of us, yeah, no, four, uh, yeah us two, and then Levi and Eve, we all walked around and made notes and like took photos of everything and just part of our research which was really lovely yeah, yeah and we went in the car obviously, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah it has, it has to be done but did you know much about two-tone and, and that genre before you actually started filming yeah i i knew bits because i think it's so um like my parents listen to a lot of it and so it's been passed down through generations and uh, every uh, like party they had, they they put on Scar and and it was and my dad's um, best mate is in a, a Scar cover band <laughs> and uh, oh, well, that's so good. yeah and uh, so I've I've seen them play and stuff but it's just it's just great music and but we learn, we also learn so much um, whilst doing it and put a playlist together for the cast and um, we listen to that to get into the the zone. Same question to you. Yes, similar answer. Yeah, car, long car journeys with other specials and madness and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, we'd say often that like playing the parts. You know, I was a similar age in the show to my dad in 1981, so it kind of felt like we were getting to experience some of the stuff that our parents got to experience. And yeah, I learned way more about the history of it and and how you know unique and important it is that it was born out of here and, and it was an amalgamation of things and it brought people together. Like, yeah. And the question is, are you allowed to say, is there going to be a second series? We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we can only hope. We, can only hope. we, 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 we want it. There has to be a second you, yeah. series, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because some people were talking about it, and I can relate to the storylines completely. Because I remember, and there's probably people of a certain age, you know, you used to go out at night, and you weren't sure whether or not there was going to be a bomb going off in Coventry. You know, or, or, I mean, famously, there was a bomb hoax when Led Zeppelin played at Tiffany's. And uh, Robert Plant famously said, you know, you can stay if you want, we're going to carry on playing, but if you want to go, go. Uh, I remember one of our friends, uh, John Coles, who didn't have a very good position, he wanted to take some photos. And once everybody had gone out, he went straight to the front of the stage and got some fantastic photos, so there we are. But it was like that, you know, and I can remember when the bomb went off. Uh, sorry to talk about bombs and that, but it's all interrelated to the show. Uh, we were in the Bear Inn, and everybody knows, or anybody from the commentary will know that the Bear Inn was just around the corner from where the bomb went off, and we'd never heard it. I mean, it's people all over commentary. Do you, do you remember that, when yeah. the, the yeah. telephone yeah. exchange? Yeah. So, yeah. so some people... Worked there and he was in it at the time it went off. He was the nearest to the blast. Oh my god, but he was alright. Yeah, but they wanted, wanted him on the witness program to appear against the RRA for 18 months. He was cacking himself. Oh god. Well, yeah, that's, that's not a good position. Called, but he was a yeah. manager at the GPO. Well, this is the thing, you know, and I remember I went to school with a guy who actually lived just up the road. And apparently his dad was a captain in the IRA and he actually bought his dad's pistol out one day. <laughs> apparently the next time we saw him, he was black and blue because obviously his dad had, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, had uh, told him why he shouldn't take stuff like that out. So it all rings true, you know, it's absolutely true. And some people don't get that, you know, but growing up in commentary, that's what it was like. And uh, you know, we can relate to all that. And of course the astronaut, well actually it's a cosmonaut, isn't it? Um, I've done my research, as well. <laughs> even, even they got the title of the, of the thing wrong, but uh, um, even that actually happened, you know, that was true, you know, it was, it was hijacked by a load of Zulus, uh, obviously in the Birmingham, and uh, there's a famous photograph of them. In the paper, yeah. That's yeah, right, yeah. All, all with it. Well, I've seen it, yeah. So yeah. It, it's great, it, it, it really is true to life, and like we're talking, um, Stephen Knight uh, never does anything normally, he always does it a bit different. Uh, like, the one thing that gets me a little bit is the name of the band. <laughs> if you want to be rich and famous, you don't use an expletive, but <laughs> well, I don't think anyway, you know, not, not in your name or your band, but uh, what did you think of that? Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like, fuck making people redundant, you know? Like, that's, that's well, what I'm saying. It's got a good message, yeah. Well, that was something else. I mean, I worked at British Leyland, and at 23 I was on the scrap heap. 
I mean, I thought it was. You know, Coventry's very good at reinventing themselves. But uh, that, that song, Ghost Town, really resonated with me because that's what it was about. You know, there I was, 23, had a bit of redundancy, went out and bought a zoom lens for my camera, and that was the end of it, you know. Uh, I should tell you that I became a famous photographer, but I didn't, sadly. <laughs> but I did, I did take up journalism, so, uh, you know, there we are. Anyway, guys, is there any questions? Do you not mind a couple no, of questions? What have we got, yeah? Any, yeah, any questions? Yeah. I heard that a few of you said or a couple of years, uh, you didn't know how to play music, so you had to learn that, actually. So we actually, I keep doing that, so we actually already did play, um, but yeah, the, the other three who ended up being in the band didn't play before the show, so you know, we had a, a lot of work to get everyone up how to long scratch. Did, how long did that take? And another one, quickly. Uh, <laughs> would you like a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love a drink. Yeah. Yeah. What are you having, first of all? Just a beer, it'd be nice. Yeah, red stripe. Red stripe, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, you keep going. Um, what was, oh, how long? Oh, well, we did like um, some, we had lessons individually, um, and then, yeah, we kind of just, well, Dan Carey, who's the music producer on it, who wrote all the, the songs that the band play with Kay Tempest, um, he had rehearsals in, in his studio in South London, so we were doing that like as part of, part of prep. And then throughout the filming process, we organised band rehearsals like a real band would, because we've, uh, the two of us have been in bands and currently in bands. Um, you know, we know how it goes with, with playing in a band, and in terms of like the name, you go through so many name changes, so maybe that one won't stick, because yeah. it's expletive, but we'll, we'll find out. The pops wouldn't allow that. Would <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we, we had a great experience like actually rehearsing as a, as a sort of real fake band, which was great. And, Got to grips with all the songs and stuff. It was really fun. Should have played tonight. <laughs> I know. I know yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> it's good. It's good that you're actually wearing a Frank Zappa badge as well. Yeah. Yeah. Zoo to Laws. Hey. Zoo to Laws. Yeah. Oh yeah, Pauline Black. So yeah. Any other questions? Here's your chance. Oh yeah. So, uh, if there was a, an availability one night for a gig here, yeah. your band. Yeah. Yes, we'd love to. We'd love to. So, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, we, we'd love to go through the right people. But if we, we'd love to. Yeah, we've just seen a few beast rehearsals, and then we'd, we'd, we'd love to do it if that's if that. If that yeah. Especially with that crazy drummer of yours. Yeah. Jackie. She wasn't. She seemed to talk about Um But she wasn't uh, at all. But she kind of was, she took to it so naturally. It was amazing. Um, yeah, like our first rehearsal at Dan Kerry Studio. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, she. It was like right. Dan was like right. Okay, let's try this song. And um, I can't remember which one it was now. But um, maybe Pelicans because that's the kind of like hardest drum beat and it was just like right drums and bass you do it so I was kind of like like locking into her eyes to stay in time and everything but she's she absolutely smashed it it was amazing yeah she really did yeah she's she yeah I hope she continues she's got it in her yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> would you would you like to see a sequel to it like the, the band moving on. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd love to see what they. You know, my worry for that was if you know if we if the band in the show did get famous, that less of the show would be set in Birmingham and Coventry because we'd assume you know I assume we'd go on tour. So other than other than that reason, yeah, I want to yeah. see where the characters go and yeah. how they sort of you know grow within within themselves because yeah. I think you know we just feel like the end of the start of a journey for them all to me anyway. Could just ask as well. Did you find it as addictive to play it as what it was for us to watch it? Because I, I found when we started watching it, I just couldn't wait. I couldn't sit and go, oh, I'll wait next week. Because I'll watch it. No, I'll sat there. Oh yeah, too. Right. Every, yeah. Like every single day was was like a new challenge. Whether you know, whether it's yeah. trying not to be a terrorist, or whether it's you know playing playing in a band, or or you know, all of those things are new new things to act every day, and 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 doing it on location. In, yeah. Like getting a shoot in Coventry Cathedral, yeah, who gets to do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You know, who who gets to yeah. to spend the day in there with that amazing light in that window? You know, so I just every day there was something to look forward to and something to be terrified of. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the scenes that got me, and it really did get me, and I'm sure other people can relate to this, is when you were wired. Oh, and it was like, it, you, know, you only had a light shirt. If that wouldn't be me, I would have had vests on, shirts, jumpers, everything. <laughs> 
But it really got me, and it was like, oh, I don't know if we can watch this. Bit. <laughs> you know, they're going to find him out. They're going to see the wire, and it was like, oh. Yeah. And I thought that was really intense. I mean, does anybody else think yeah, that? Definitely. You know, yeah. when I was watching it, I mean, I don't normally get like that on stuff, but that really got me. And I thought, oh, blimey, you know, put a better shirt on. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Right. Do some buttons up, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I thought that was an amazing scene. Anyway, uh, we'll go upstairs now, and we'll open up the exhibition. It's pretty well open. Uh, obviously, Roddy. <coughs> Roddy's about. And uh, we'll do uh, Roddy's first, and then we'll do the other one. Uh, <laughs> this time, I'll get it wrong. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how, how many times I've said that title and I get it wrong, but never mind. Thank you.